Folks, welcome once again to Sunday Mass from Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe del Valle de Popaque. We are in the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, Amen. and with your spirit. Now, brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass by acknowledging our sins and asking God for His forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. And together let us praise God by saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today comes from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Fear the Lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you, and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more, in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. <clears throat> Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a great high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, 
separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priest, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Folks, there's a story about a young, successful executive who was traveling through a neighborhood one day, driving a bit too fast in his brand new Jaguar. Suddenly, a brick smashed into the Jag's side door. The young executive slammed on the brakes and backed up to the spot, got out of the car, grabbed the nearest kid and pushed him up against the car, shouting, what was that all about? And who are you? Just what the heck are you doing? That's a brand new car, and that brick you threw is going to cost a lot of money to fix. Why did you do it? The young boy was apologetic. Please, mister, please. I'm sorry, but I didn't know what else to do, he pleaded. I threw the brick because no one else would stop. With tears dripping down his face and off his chin, the youth pointed to a spot around the parked car. It's my brother, he said. He rolled off the curb and fell out of his wheelchair, and I can't lift him up. Now sobbing, the boy asked the stunned executive, would you please help, help me get him back into his wheelchair? He's hurt, and he's too heavy for me. The man was moved beyond words. He tried to swallow rapidly the swelling lump in his throat. He hurriedly lifted the handicapped boy back into the wheelchair, then took out a handkerchief and dabbed at the fresh scrapes and cuts. A quick look told him everything was going to be okay. Thank you, said the boy, too shook up for words, the man simply watched the boy push his wheelchair-bound brother down the sidewalk towards his home. It was a long, slow walk back to his car. And you know what? The man never bothered to repair the dented side door. He kept the dent to remind him of this message. Don't go through life so fast that someone has to throw a brick at you to get your attention. What a beautiful story. 
You know, it was not uncommon for the scribes to ask each other and the learned rabbis questions about the law. Such question and answer sessions were a favorite pastime of the scribes. But how Jesus answers the question today about the most important commandment by answering with a pair of commandments which were on a par with each other was probably striking to the scribes and the learned men. These words were so common, and still are, that devout Jews wore them on their clothing called phylacteries. And on the four doorposts, there's a little gadget called a mezuzah, which has the important commandment. But Jesus' answer was unexpected. Indeed, this pairing would be confirmed later in the epistle of John chapter 4 where he says, If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he can, whoever does not love a brother whom he can see, cannot love a God whom he has not seen. This is the command we have from Jesus. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. And there are no loopholes to these commandments. And it should not take a brick thrown at a car to help us realize the most important thing in our Christian Catholic faith is to love God and neighbor. President Abraham Lincoln once said this about religion, and I quote, when any church will inscribe over its altar as its sole qualification from membership is, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart and with all thy soul and, your, and thy neighbor as thyself, that church will I join with all my heart and my soul. So would a lot of other people in our society with a negative view of religion. You know, you know Mother Teresa, Saint Mother Teresa, shared an experience she had on a trip to Venezuela. A wealthy family had given her, her community, some land in which to build a children's home. When Mother Teresa went to thank them, she met their children as well, and the oldest was seriously disabled. What is his name? She asked the mother. His name, the mother said, is Professor of Love, because this child is teaching us the whole time how to express our love in action. There was a beautiful smile on Mother Teresa's face, and she reflected on this. Professor of love, they call the child, so terribly disabled, so disfigured. Folks, as we go through life as Jesus' disciples, we will meet many professors. But if we are willing, they can teach us how to love. Praise God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With the knowledge and faith that God is our rock and our strength, we bring our petitions to the one who is Lord alone. For the church, that we might be a community dedicated to the love of God 
and united in our commitment to enacting the love of neighbor so that we too can hear Jesus proclaim that we are not far from the kingdom of God, we praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that the goodwill and generosity found in God's commandments might take the place of hatred and suspicion and bring the promise of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our nations, that our institutions might be built to embody a genuine love of neighbor, meeting the needs of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass intentions, for the repose of soul of Francisco E. Vieira, Francisco A. Vieira, and Priscilla Vieira, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of soul of Abe, Anita, and Joseph Martinez, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of soul of Guadalupe Velarde, on the 39th anniversary of her death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Vicky, D, and Scott Seely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Bernadette Apodaca, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Toby Quinley and Barbara Liscards, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Raymond Pyatt, who died recently, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the people of the Republic of Panama who today celebrate uh, Independence Day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of love, help us to love you more fully, and in that love to care for our neighbor in need, just as your son Jesus Christ showed us perfectly how to do. And we ask this through this same Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, also work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sin. And pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy truth. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a, a, poor, a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people, formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, John Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember especially our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the blessed apostles, with San Martin de Porros, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the many ages, we may merit to be co heirs to life eternal and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us pray as the Lord taught us all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your loving Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks, Thanks be to God.